trees, grass, pastures, flowers, bollocks. back again or well, possibly not possibly I'm dead from the coronavirus which I'm actually bricking it over at the moment uh, I'm not even going to go into that one it's too disgusting but uh, yeah anyway uh, and you're just watching uh, these videos on a uh, shitty YouTube Ugh, who knows mate who knows so uh, anyway I decided we needed uh, a mammoth shit of a fucking project because I got the shits yesterday for no reason I don't expect to get the shits from having some instant noodles uh, in the packet Koli noodles very nice I've eaten them many times and it wasn't even a new packet that I opened a packet of five days they're individually sealed in the uh, combined packet of five so we're playing uh, we're playing this Rob Tech uh, thing here. Where's the fucking case gone? Rob Tech King Size. More like you feel like a King Size knob if you fucking bought this expecting the games to be good. Now, why am I playing uh, 50 shit games that is not cassette 50? Well, there you go. There's one reason. It's not cassette 50. That's been done to death. And I would only do cassette 50 on the uh, VIC 20, and I don't have that on disc, and I'm not playing that on tape. So there you go. So I believe this was 14.99. I'll have to check that. And uh, basically, it's uh, 25 games on each side of the disc. And yes, that's why we're playing it because uh, <laughs> it's. This is the last working uh, original disc I've found so far. Now if I find Elite, I will load that up just to remind myself of the uh, pathetic frame rate on that game on the C64. Which definitely should not have received a gold medal by Bob Wade. Fucking idiot. So let's have a look what we've got then. Uh, squash, Domino, Gold or fellow grubs, backgammon, Europe, nail board, munch man, blah blah blah. Uh, moon base, panzer, rowboat, space here. Right. Well, these numbers on the side are how many blocks uh, the program is using on disk. Um, four of these blocks equals 1k of RAM, so you can see this is the largest one, 11k. So I will try that one and uh, I don't believe there's any machine code on any of them. The disk drive is protesting. The disk, my disk drive doth protest sir. So one of the other reasons is these are relatively small programs. So when you're watching something like Micro Live and uh, the super fast uh, disk driver, the BBC is doing its magic. What you don't realise is most of those games they're loading or demonstration programs are only a few k anyway. So look how quick that loaded for 11k. Your average uh, C64 game. You know, from the start of 1982 onwards, the average is about 40 something K. So, you know, times this by four, and you'd get like a full commercial game. Look, like Manic Miner is only about 43K on the C64. Just so you know. Let's check out this rubbish. Ooh, Elwood Computers. Yeah. If I was a millennial prick with one of them uh, smartphones with a working uh, fucking SIM card in it, I do have a smartphone. Not for using it as a phone though. It's just like to record video and stuff. I'd check out uh, 
if this game is actually attributed to uh, Elwood Computers. But then I'd see what it looks like and it'd ruin the uh, fun. Get ready. What is it with getting ready? Oh, I used to have uh, a mate and he used to take fucking two to three hours to get ready to go to the pub. And yet at the time that I knew him, the two girls I was going out with, they were ready within half an hour. So, you know, it just goes to show. See, I don't know if this is going to work now because we didn't do comma one in the end. Ah, there you go. Oh, bloody hell. Fuck me. There's some graphics there. It's Tom Cruise, man. It's Maverick. Even though he's an astronaut. Yeah, why would an astronaut have a, a fighter pilot's helmet and a oxygen mask? That's a bit weird. So there's no... <laughs> There is that though. Is this a two player only game? It is a two player only game. We could have told me that, yeah, so. And you can go diagonally. What the, what the hell happened there? I'm not sure what's going on there. Can you not go above that level? Why would it not let you go higher than that? I'm nowhere near the sides. Yeah, wizard sleeve joke there. Okay, it's forcing me to go. What the hell is going on? Something weird going on here. are coming out a bit cockeyed from uh, about, you know, three foot above your spaceship. There's no indication of any kind of uh, fuel or anything, so I really don't know why it does that weird thing. Well, it's a good start. Tom Cruise, how could you put your name to this game? For fuck's sake! I really don't understand why that's not working. I didn't even do anything there. That's pretty Run to the store? Yeah, fuck you, mate. Oh, there is some machine code. Oh, right, okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem because it's absolutely fucked everything up now. E. Hello there, Aslan. Hello there, buddy. Hmm. You right there? Yeah. No one can actually see you. Only me. You're invisible. No. You're just not in front of the camera for a change. Um. You know what? I'm going to have to load that, that again. So yet again, another fucked up review by Mad Commodore on his closed channel. Having to do the fucking games twice. I think it was called Astronaut, actually. If I knew how to change the name of files on disk, I'd change it to fucking uh, Top Gun in space. Where they suffocate because they're wearing regular fighter pod. I don't fucking know, mate. Last time I had any interest in uh, fucking uh, fighter airplanes was like when uh, Top Trump's cards were a thing. I believe the fastest fighter aircraft at the time was a MiG. It wasn't an American. No, it was a Russian plane. There you go, mate. Just so you know. So, I'm now hoping that... Uh, 
that because we've loaded it in with the uh, correct memory addresses as it was saved, it's going to fucking work. But there's no guarantee. Got all excited there, got all excited thinking, yeah, bruv, this game is actually up to uh, Mastertronic 1983 quality. Was it 1983? No, I think it was 84 their first games that come out. Come on, man, the battery light's flashing, you bastard. Even though when I switched the camera on it, it said that's got three fucking bars on it. You asshole. Nah. You have to go really slowly. That may be a blackout from the acceleration of this game that is so fucking fast. You know what? Screw you. Oh shit, the other joystick's not plugged in. Uh, you get the idea, you've got to shoot each other, it's like two player only game like combat, and I don't even like combat. Next! 